Adobe Photoshop is a registered trademark of Adobe Systems Incorporated and I am in no way affiliated with Adobe. Okay, so on this small little tutorial here I'm going to show you guys how to copy the tape layer and free transform it to post it on the other side so that we can have a final picture. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure tape 1 is selected and hit Command or Control J on PC and of course it copied the exact same layer and if you want to actually click right here as you can see my arrow it's gonna hide the effects which is kinda of nice because it gives us a little more room um, now what you want to do is you can go over here to your move tool as you can see I just clicked and you can move your other piece of tape to this side but you got a problem because now it's it's the same exact replica of this one but it's not placed where we want it to be placed so what you want to hit is control T on PC or command T on Mac and it's gonna bring up this dialog box here and all you gotta do is click and drag on the corner just like that and hit the check mark or hit return and if it doesn't look too good, you can use your move tool now to actually move it around to make it look a little bit better. And that looks pretty good. So now, as you can see here, guys, I have a beautiful picture that is finally done. Um, and we only did it in a short few steps. It is very, very quick and a very, very efficient way to do tape. And, to do the, and, and the most important thing was using the warp tool to make this uh, little page curl look. And that is the main part of the actual uh, little tutorial here. But I'm actually going to move on and I can actually show you guys how to make another piece of tape and it's not so difficult to do.